Republican civil war that has been ongoing for months and now threatens a catastrophic government shutdown that will hurt everyday Americans. With no deal in sight, experts say Speaker McCarthy's job appears to be at risk. He doesn't agree with that. Now, meantime, a shutdown could have enormous impacts across the country. More than 2 million active duty and reserve military troops will work without pay. So will air traffic controllers and TSA agents. Food prices would spike. Wall Street would take a huge hit until the shutdown ends. A handful of federal safety services that people rely on daily are also in jeopardy from dwindling funds for critical food assistance programs to potential delays in customer service for recipients of low staff medical We're not, we're not going to let people um, lose pay for the families, miss bill payments, especially our service members. We, just, we, you know, we can't let it happen. We do hear you and see you. The White House says the inevitable shutdown would deny small businesses across America more than $100 million in critical financing every day. The deadline again, midnight. We'll send it back to you. Carlos, thank you. We're going to be watching that one closely. Meantime, finally, some relief at the pump this morning. Gas prices are coming down, but not by much. In L.A., Orange, and Riverside counties, the average cost for a gallon of unleaded dropped by just about a penny. But it was the opposite in San Bernardino County with a one-cent increase. And we should keep seeing prices drop. Governor Newsom has authorized state officials to roll out winter blend gasoline earlier than normal this year. Refineries are able to produce the winter blend in greater amounts, making it cheaper than the summer blend. It's interesting. I saw we teased this story and I was like, oh, it's going to be dropping by a lot. <laughs> One cent. Of any. Hey, it's better than nothing. It's, it's the right direction, right? Exactly. Yeah. Powerball fever gripping the state as the jackpot nears the billion dollar mark. Yeah, tonight's drawing is worth an estimated $960 million. So, of course, we sent KTLA's Aaron Myers to Huntington Beach, where she has a lot of fever. A lot of people do, I'm sure, including myself. <laughs> Uh, you guys, good morning. It's hard not to get excited when the jackpot is $960 million, and you could get a lot of gas with that. The gas prices wouldn't be so bad uh, if you were the big jackpot winner. I spoke to one woman who said she would travel, though, and I could definitely get on board with that as well. But take a look, $960 million. You can see it there. Now, this ranks as the game's second largest jackpot of this year, the fourth largest jackpot in the history of Powerball. And though no one won the big prize matching all five numbers in the Powerball on Wednesday's drawing, it did produce more more than a million winners, including four that matched all five white balls to win one million dollar prizes. One of those winners here in California. Now, the last Powerball jackpot was won back on July 19th here in California as well and was over a billion dollars. Since then, we have seen 30 consecutive drawings without a jackpot winner. Now, if you were to walk away with the grand prize, you could take a lump sum payment estimated to be $441.4 million, or you could take an annuity option where you receive one immediate payment followed by 29 annual payments. Now, the odds of winning the jackpot, not the best. You have about a 1 in 292.2 .2 million chance of being that big winner. So, yeah, you are going to have to get a little lucky here. Now, if you were to win, it's recommended to surround yourself with advisors, such as an attorney, an accountant, and possibly an investment advisor. Uh, we spoke with Sean this morning, who says he is planning on getting about $20 worth of tickets. What would you do if you won? I buy a Volkswagen bus that cruise the beach for the air show. I love that. And then on bigger terms, what would be the next steps? I'd travel. I'd go on a lot of cruises. Anywhere in particular you want to go to? Caribbean. Yes. What's it about the Caribbean? Beautiful water. Beautiful wife. And I have to say, Sean does have a beautiful wife, so he has already won the jackpot there with her. But they would have a great time on their cruises. If you haven't gotten your tickets, they're two bucks a piece, and uh, the drawing will be at 7.59 tonight. Reporting live here in Huntington Beach, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Aaron, thank you. Happening today, the 2023 edition of the iconic Malibu Triathlon. This is a live picture here of the event which gathers athletes, celebrities, and the corporate world to raise funds for local charities. Over 5,000 competitors will run, swim, and cycle at Zuma Beach this weekend. Olympic distances are being held today with classic distances. For pediatric cancer research.
do Team KTLA. It's it's. I would do the cycle. That's fun. Um, you know, and it's the relay. It is. Yeah. It's it's really very. Since athletes, though, they don't care about that. They're probably happy about this cool weather this morning. Uh, we do see a little bit of blue sky right now looking over. Uh, this is our downtown Los Angeles camera. But even if it's dry now, we're leaving the chance of showers in the forecast for the rest of the day and thunderstorms by this afternoon. So downtown yesterday, 73.